What's happening guys? Chris VA Travels down here in Petersburg and I'm going to take a walk around the Thomas Wallace house also known as General Grant's headquarters here in Petersburg and we all know he stayed at City Point during the Battle of Petersburg but this is where he met with Abraham Lincoln the day after Petersburg had fallen and yeah so obviously that's what it's most noted for so yeah I'll tell you uh, I'll take a walk around this thing kind of tell you the story little write up over here I'll let you pause and read and interesting enough uh, I didn't realize Grant had only met with Lincoln three times in their life uh, yeah so and we're off South Wallace Street I'm, so, I'm sorry South Market Street which was Market Street at the time a really nice area of town you'll see the house right there it's pretty much the same and yeah there we are right in the middle of Petersburg and pretty interesting, Petersburg was actually in 1860, uh, you'll see the uh, the different forts, the Battle of Petersburg. Uh, 1860 was the second largest city in Virginia, so it was a pretty bustling place. It was uh, a lot of uh, train intersections, a lot of train depots here. And uh, oh, and also the third largest city at the time was Wheeling, Virginia, which obviously now is Wheeling, West Virginia. Uh, it was tied with Norfolk. All right, so yeah, I'll just take a walk around this thing, take a look at the architecture, and then I'll tell you the story with Grant and Lincoln. Uh, it's kind of windy out here. I hope that's uh, not causing problems. Oh, I wanted to say a couple people have commented recently that the, uh, the audio hasn't been coming out in stereo. It's just been coming out of the left speaker. Hopefully I fixed that problem. I think it was the wireless microphone I'm using, but anyway, so. Um, all right, yeah, the thing was built 1855. Uh, Italian eight architecture and I can tell you that was the popular style at least here in Virginia 1850s 1860s all the nice homes were uh, Italian eight and yeah pretty nice surround uh, on that window some door columns holding up the porch uh, egg and dart pattern on that lintel above the window oh and you'll see it's uh, made with pressed brick so a little fancy and uh, surrounded by this wrought iron fence. And cool little piazza right there. And that's where Lincoln and Grant sat and talked. And you'll see the uh, these things are aligned with some symmetrical magnolias right here. And this property was a lot larger, of course, at the time. It, it extended a lot further. There were stables back there, a bunch of outbuildings. Um, here we go. And this served as a bed and breakfast not too long ago. And I don't know if it's still even occupied. It doesn't just from looking through the windows, it doesn't look like it's being really kind of kept up too much. And you'll see it's on the uh, the National Register uh, up there. But uh, yeah, anyway, to tell you the story of, as I said, this was where Lincoln and Grant met, April, April 3rd, 1865. And so the night before Lincoln had stayed in City Point, Grant had stayed at a place nearby. So that morning, Lincoln had taken the train from City Point to here, uh, here in Petersburg. He was with his son, Tad. So Tad was here. And Grant had sent his horse, Cincinnati, out to pick up Lincoln for him to ride here to the house. And so Lincoln arrived about 11 a.m., obviously pretty excited, pretty happy, anxious to talk with Grant. And Grant was sitting on the front porch to greet him. Thomas Wallace came out, offered for them to come inside. They declined because they wanted to smoke cigars. And Wallace spoke briefly with Lincoln uh, about their time in the Whig Party. And I'll tell you that uh, Thomas Wallace, he was a Virginia delegate. Uh, he was a congressman. And he also was president of the big exchange bank here in Petersburg. Uh, it's now the Petersburg Museum. I did a video on that a long time ago, uh, if you want to check it out. Yeah, so they came, uh, and so they decided to, since they, they didn't want to go inside, that they sat on the piazza over here. And Thomas Wallace uh, brought out a nice tall back chair for Lincoln to sit on. Obviously, he was a pretty tall man. And that, that chair is still in the uh, Wallace family. So they sat, sat on the porch, talked about an hour and a half. Uh, Lincoln talked about uh, a lot about his plans for reconstruction, uh, talked about his plans uh, for lenient, leniency toward the South. 
And interesting, Grant had talked about how he was anxious to track down Robert E. Lee, obviously, who had headed west toward App Appomattox. He wanted to capture Lee before uh, Sherman could help in any way. I uh, just didn't want to look like uh, that he needed help. He, he did it on, on his own. So, yeah, so that, that was the brief story. So Abraham Lincoln left, and while they were sitting there, they were anxiously waiting word that Richmond had fallen. Uh, news hadn't come, so Lincoln left. He toured, uh, he toured Petersburg, headed back to City, City Point, and then later that day, he had heard that Richmond had fallen. And, and famously, Abraham Lincoln went into the Confederate White House, and he sat at uh, Jefferson Davis's desk just hours after he had fled. He went to Danville. Uh, oh, home of Grant. All right, pretty cool. And we would all walk around the, uh, the other side as well. You'll see some uh, internal, internal chimneys. Again, some pretty nice brackets. Uh, looks like they're in need, need of repair. As I had said, Petersburg was a really happening city. Unfortunately, it just never recovered after the Civil War. A lot of nice houses were built here, uh, late 1800s, but it was just, it slowly started to decline. Uh, I know during the Great Depression, the 18, uh, 19, uh, 1930s, uh, a lot of the warehouses shut down and it just kept going further and further downhill. So it, unfortunately, it kind of doesn't have a good uh, reputation. Uh, some parts of it, I'll just be honest, probably aren't, aren't that, uh, you probably have to be careful. Yeah, okay, nice, uh, it's arch windows over here, another nice fence on this little walkout. Kind of little grape and leaf design right there. Okay, you can kind of see in there. Whoa, I'm walking, uh, <laughs> all right, I just, uh, bumped into this, uh, electrical wire hanging down. <laughs> Let me take, take, take a step back. All right, so it looks like this may have been an outbuilding. It looks like maybe that was an add-on that was built sometime, uh, sometime later on to connect the two. And pretty nice structure. Hopefully somebody buys it, fixes it up, turns it into something. Chimney back there. Walked around to the side, just a closer look at this piazza. Big old crepe myrtle. And it looks like some ivy growing up the side right there. And the uh, wooden uh, attachment uh, over here uh, on the back. So let me just walk around before I get out of here. Kind of a little walkway right here. And All right, so there is, yeah, just that clapboard attachment. Yeah, it needs some work. And cool. All right, is this a, uh, a pecan tree? I'm not sure, I think it is. But, uh, all right guys, okay, you hear the train. So, like I say, Petersburg, big train depot. video wanted to show this place off pretty fine looking home with some pretty neat history and yeah really cool its connection to the Civil War
And uh, yeah, I'm gonna head out, knock out a, a couple more sites here in Petersburg. As always, like and subscribe.